Oops, no waiting for day. I really don't mind to comment on anything. It's quite the opposite, especially when I'm requested to. I don't mind at all. Um, it's kind of fun, but uh, it's today, I mean, it's like also looking into stuff, it can be so exhausting. And I don't even mind to do that, but it's exhausting. It, it takes so much attention. We have such a strong sense of order. So when things are not in order, so this is not something I like this so much. It's so pretty. I like also the taste actually. Did I actually said I don't <laughs> eventually. So I'm gonna put this in there. And it's not that I really want to, because I don't know what I want every day. I like all of this, all of them very much. I like them a lot. And I'm really hungry. Like when I finish my flute playing, I'm really hungry. Yeah, so a little later. So it's a nice use, but at the other hand, it's kind of bothersome not to find the one I want. So let's say right now I'm super hungry. So I had thought this is like the last thing I want. They are just okay, but it's good because they're small, so I can snack on them for a long time. Mm, yeah, we are like super careful. Uh, just, this is a zweischneidiges Pferd. <laughs> what a Pferd? Pferd hat noch keine zwei schneiden. German. No, I so enjoy listening to German. On the other hand, it's kind of disappointing because like no one really speaks like I do. They're like all pretty lame. So this is already having one there and there is almost impossible to to catch that. No, it's really hard. No, that little thing in the bathroom, it was displaced. I can clearly see it because I feel it. Didn't you? I started the whole thing like this. Coming to my house and displacing things. So I would see someone was in there. People, I forget about that. See, ah, super careful. That's what we are, and that's what it takes. Do you want to be here? Got to take. Forget about love making. Maybe you're never gonna get there. Oh, it was just costing that few years. And I don't know. I responded to that request. These are very nice. They don't look that good, right? But they're really yummy. Good dark chocolate. I like it a lot. I'm gonna put this away. It's also nicer to keep it very clean, very clean in the car. Now this is happening a little later. Oh, thanks God. I've been craving like how long? Years I've been craving. Like I've been craving for years, like stuff I have right now. Oh, there were these, this thing. I mean, some make me laugh because it's too idiot. And then the other things, see, I don't cry. I was, I, I just the last thing I responded to this weird asshole German, which is probably like 90% of all Germans. Because I feel I'm more asshole than that. I mean, and um, now this has to become in one. So, a many posts on his site, on his, on his, uh, and th th the last one was about Atlantic and, and I, I couldn't quite grasp it, so I couldn't really focus on it. And now that I did, just before I came in here, the, the disposition was, it's, it's about the Atlantic Hotel. This, is that too loud? Let me put this up. Which color do I prefer? I don't know. Yellow here? Or red? Definitely not the blue one. Probably this one. No, I'm into red too. So, Atlantic is a hotel <clears throat> in in Hamburg, and, and next to the Alster, which is like privileged place maybe. And it's a is it called is it a Hotel Atlantic or is it called Hotel Vierjahreszeiten, which means the four stations like Vivaldi. So if you talk about there's one another one Camper Clamper I don't know if you talk about yeah I don't know. That's the thing. And if you talk about expensive and deluxe, that's the hotel to go. No one knows that. And no one I knew ever. I think the only like business people come from outside who go there. I'm not, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea if that's a good thing or not. It's expensive. Yeah. But maybe it's going to be like Versailles, right? Some asshole thing with like old fashioned stuff. Or maybe not. I can more imagine, envision it's like modern. But it's old. I don't know what you want to know now. I don't know, I had friends coming over and they had a hotel nearby, uh, but a little nicer, more treats on the street and smaller. I don't know, I didn't saw the rooms, but it was like a pen pension, like, almost like a bed and breakfast in the house. I think this is so much more enticing in general, but it depends on where you go, right? So here I am talking. I like the gloves, they're good. I really do. I'm starting to get a little bit eerie because I would like to play my flute. I don't know, it's a sense of accomplishment, but I... I like to feel I have done something, like being productive makes me feel like, see, I'm not, what? 
I like feeling not alone. I like feeling accompanied. I like, I like that you encourage me to say things. Manifesting, you say, careful. Uh oh, that I want to take the gloves off because I don't want her to scratch it. Um, I love being being challenged. You know, it's what a weird name again. I love, I love being herausgefordert. That's better. I like that. I don't know. So my mind was like dormant, like my whole life, <laughs> like dullified, I guess, because I was so eager to learn stuff, but it was so boring everywhere. And with whom can you speak? You're nobody. I have never met anybody. I think Marcus could have been a person, but why would you want to speak about anything other than just having a good time together? He, I think he was lacking of love a lot. See what I'm doing now? I'm silent only because I'm listening to what you need. Am I going to tell you the story of Marcus now on what I know about it? I wish I would have known more. Oopsie. So Marcus probably could have talked about anything, but did we have interest in that? No, we were lacking of love, like seriously lacking of love. And oops. So no, I, I want to take this off. I'd rather have a scratch me than scratch the loves. Or oh, I put her off. I'm so happy finally mommy here. You pretty look. See, you're so cute. Look at you. Yeah, you're pretty. So pretty, so pretty. Oh yeah, so pretty. So So oh yeah, and then maybe a few people I, I maybe in the choir there were some who could actually speak about things, but the situation with that is this. So there were our teachers and they're I don't know, twenties, thirties and whatever. But Teachers in Germany, they don't think either. I thought so, but no, because to me, they look all like dummies. As a person, they look like dummies, all of them. I had plenty of time to look because I just had plenty of time to look. Because, I don't know, they don't, they, they, they speak German, they maybe speak nicely, and maybe they had to read books, depending on, of course, what they teach, which I have no clue. Yet they don't auseinandersetzen, um, they don't fragen, they don't, ask questions, they don't verify things. Yeah, you make me look at that because I want to. Like, I would never just forward something because I read it anywhere. And it has to make, I mean, I would not... First and foremost, whenever I want to do something, it has to make sense, so no matter what. I don't waste my time with pity anything. And even talking philosophers is pretty anything because who gives a shit what they think? <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, who, who else? But it's, it's a very personal experience. And if someone shares that, that's wow. It's like special. But then again, why would you want to talk about it? I mean, yes. Okay, so I can have these talks with myself. Auseinandersetzung. So Auseinander is German for um, deconstruct, right? Deconstruct. And Setzung means you sit it down so let me put like different concepts out there like she is dressed yeah everybody knows that right at least we think so unless of course she isn't or someone is delusional now let's let's figure it so she has got a glove actually she's got two of them but they're not on the same place they're like one is on each side so now the gloves have two sides they don't look the same and then underneath, you didn't see, you thought it wasn't true, but she's got actually two rings. And I can continue doing, so I can just associate things. So the, the fact, so now what comes to mind is like, that looks like a submissive thing. That's like a huge concept, a, a huge concept right now, a huge concept. It's like defies everything ever written and said on earth. So a philosopher is not really that relevant at all because now we're down to earth. I can uh, develop this if you wish me to. So this has to do with, if you say come here in German, you say this or this. And if you say come here in Mexico, you say this, it goes like that. So that's just an introduction. In Germany most likely is like this. Can you see it? Let's see. Come here, come here. And in Mexico, in a Catholic place. So what I'm saying by Germany and Mexico is I'm saying in an industrialist country where people are supposed to have thought, opposite to a Catholic country where everyone just obeys. 
Now, in the industrialized country, and that's what I'm telling you now, they're also just obedient, but they're obedient to stuff which doesn't make sense because they're obedient to the fact of, you know, the machinery. If you don't glue the back together, it's going to fall apart. If you don't put the screw together, the bridge cannot stay. So that's an obedience, which is well closer to nature, <clears throat> although it's called mechanics, because otherwise it doesn't work. So it makes it in, in, in a more... Um, We'll see, not thoughtful, not mindful, but it makes it a more functional society in the modern world. In the modern world. In the modern world. Meaning, now what does modern mean? I'm not going to get excited <laughs> because modern to me means so much more than just stuff. Um, that means I just so would like to finish this thought. Okay, so modern is supposed to make, maybe going philosophy, but it's a good thing because we need it today. So modern is supposed to make life more comfortable for you. You have to also look what, what stuff means in, in comparison to, as opposed to the other thing. So modern is new thing. Sorry, Lindsay, that's enough. Oh, that's not from yesterday. She's still there. So it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't hurt anymore. So modern, no, I don't put a pflaster on. A pflaster is a curita, how you say this? Because the air will help it heal faster. If it's not totally bleeding, I prefer not to. I don't know, someone told me once, but they have said a lot of things and I just adopted it this way because I feel it's the right thing to do it. Because when you have this on, put it off, you see what happens, right? It's got all moldy and dark, mushy and... Uh, so modern is so... So anyway, you would like to analyze anything, you have to see as opposed to what? In comparison to what? So there is no firm statement. That's a super philosophical concept. If maybe Khan said it, or maybe someone else did, or maybe no one did, but it doesn't matter. What does it mean? That's what I tell you. That's why I'm so cool, and you're not. <laughs> Serious. Boom. So what does it mean today? You cannot make a firm statement if you do not understand what it means. You cannot make a globalizing statement unless you express yourself in so very many ways to understand that very statement. If you tell anyone it's best when we have a sunny day, a German might say, that's a rarity. I don't know if I'm used to it. And someone from Africa says, yeah, duh, what's the question? And when you go to Palm Springs, someone might say, man, it's too hot now. I wish we had some rain. Do you understand? You cannot just make, you have to put that into context. There's more to it. What is the purpose? The meaning doesn't really matter. That's the whole idea. The meaning of philosophy doesn't really matter unless there's an outcome. That's why I'm so attracted to philosophy. Always was, always have been. That did my always because of the outcome, because it put things into so many, many perspectives, which always brings you a solution. I don't need to talk about this. So there is not many different, it's like, okay, talk about a car. So are you following the school of the steering wheel or are you following the, the, the school of the motors? Wait, no, you are in the school of, you see, you cannot have the global understanding if you don't look at it from very many different perspectives. So you don't understand life. If you think you could, you are now, I'm Kantian, I'm onto Heidegger. No, I'm Marxist. No, I'm, a, see, it doesn't work this way. Marxists, for example, what about they tell you? It's very important, but it is only important in comparison to what is before or was before. And that is the capitalization of people, the anti-humanistic approach of dealing with people as, as little machines, little objects, industrial revolution. And of course, Marxism doesn't tell you, but this is what I am telling you again. The idea of Marxism is that we can be humanized again. That's the whole idea. So Marxism came to just disclose all the strategies of making people not feel human again. And that means everything. What happens? And here we, we can go down or in the aspect of psychology, if you want. What happens? Go and look how many minutes. 14. I have to. I'm going to post it soon. So it's gone. What happens if you are hungry? If you do have a job, though, but you are afraid to lose it, you can barely pay your rent. You are cold. And your children who are eight are working too. What happens? How is their sex life? Excuse me? I'm gonna continue in another video. Hey, hold on.